Okay, gang, I'm going to do a little warm-up here. You guys can do it with me and uh, maybe help to give you guys some motivation to, to actually warm up. Sometimes I struggle also. So we're going to do either 10 meters, which would be 30 feet uh, of moving while stretching, um, or if there's not movement for it, then we'll do 10 reps. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do a leg cradle. Uh, or sorry, we're going to do a knee hug. We're going to pull our knees into our chest, and we're going to walk 30 feet out. Okay, so I'm going to walk 30 feet out to the other side. I'm going to do knee hugs, and I'm going to do Frankenstein kicks on the way back. you do that Frankenstein kick, try to keep your back heel on the ground when you kick. Don't come up onto the toe. Try to keep that foot flat and then kick. Just kick as high as you can so you feel a good stretch. Not trying to hurt anything here. Next we're going to do is some shoulder dislocates or shoulder passers, PVC pipe, broomstick, anything where you can have as a handle. We're gonna do 10 reps here. So we're gonna activate those shoulders up into our ears. We're gonna pass that pipe all the way up and over. 10 times. You can uh, mess with your grip as far as the distance of your hands as you go. But again, this is not a, uh, it's not a race. We're just trying to uh, loosen up the shoulders and uh, get some movement in that shoulder side. You can kind of go in with one arm and then come out with the other arm to kind of break things up also. The other option is changing your hands behind you to where your palms would be facing in front of you. It hits the shoulders a little differently. We're going to do two more. I lost camp. One more. All right. Next one we're going to do, uh, going across the driveway, is I'm going to do a quad stretch. When I grab my quad, I'm going to try to grab, if I'm stretching this quad, I'm going to try and grab it with my opposite hand. And I'm going to try to reach that same side arm up. So I'm feeling that stretch in my hip flexor as well as in my lat. I'm going to do that walking across and then coming back, I'm going to lunge, do a twist, and lift my arms straight up in the air. Okay, here we go. Should feel all this here. Loosen up your hip flexor as you take that lunge. Stretch out the back and then press into the sky and stretch out your lats 
under your armpits. Awesome, next one we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a quarter squat leg cradle. If I have a chair here, and uh, to help me with some balance, um, you're gonna put one leg over top of your knee, and then you're just gonna sit back into a squat. As we do this here, you're gonna feel this stretch in the bottom uh, of your lower leg, as well as uh, in your hip, the leg that you're, uh, the leg here that you're leaning back into. And we're just trying to sit into that stretch. We'll hold 10 seconds. As you do that there, you can move around a little bit, try to help break up some of that stiffness, whether it's in your ankle or whether you're sitting back into that hip. I'm sorry, the hip, the, the hip that you're feeling is the hip of the leg that's on top of the knee. It's that opposite side. So you're gonna try to really press that knee down and stretch that hip. Next one we're gonna do is a, uh, a walking pigeon. So as we walk out, we're gonna just do a walking pigeon. So we're gonna step out, lay that leg down, walk out over the chest a little bit there, and pop back out, okay? We're gonna do that changing legs going all the way across, and then coming back, we're gonna lunge. Same side leg that you lunge out with, we're gonna take that elbow and put it on the ground, and then open up to the sky. Here we go. As you go on this, if you can think about trying to get that same side elbow a little closer to the ground each time, that's a good goal. And then last one that we're going to do here is we're going to sit in the bottom of the squat and then we're going to do our shoulder dislocates or our shoulder uh, pass-throughs. So we're going to sit in the bottom of the squat, pass that pipe all the way up and over and then back down. So we're loosening up your hips here in the bottom of the squat, as well as loosening up those shoulders. I don't have great shoulder flexibility, so for me this is a battle, and my chest leans over quite a bit. Some of you guys that have much better shoulder flexibility, you probably can really have a much um, more vertical torso as you do this. Again, you can adjust the grip of your hands of where you want them, as you're going through. We'll do three more. The moving, the moving while stretching movements, we're looking to move about 25, 30 feet. And then the other exercises, we're either holding for 10 seconds, the stationary ones, or uh, doing 
10 reps. This little warm up drill here that we're doing really is helping to loosen up the, your hips as well as your shoulders and should help you break a little bit of a sweat and help warm you up. Thanks for joining me and uh, good luck with your workout.